What's up, guys? It's me, your badass here, Straven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Art Gold walkthrough. Okay, so here we are in Blackthorn City, or town, or city. I don't know, it's been a while. I don't know. Blackthorn City is the name, and yes, we are going to be going for the next gym badge because it has been a while since we actually had a, a gym battle or anything like that. And, well, we're going to skip the whole touring place right here, and we're going to go straight into the Pokemart and grab ourselves a healing item because, remember guys, in Blackthorn City, there will be Dragon-type Pokemon. You don't want to mess with them without any potions, you know, healing items and all that. You don't want to do that. No, don't do it. Seriously, don't do it because, uh... They will mess you up. So, let's go right ahead and uh, go to the gym because uh, it has been a while. Now, let's see. As you guys can see, it, th this video right here, half hour long, maybe even more. Because not only are we going to go into the gym and dominate in here, but we're also going to be doing the whole dragon test right behind this gym. Because, well, you guys will see in a little bit what's going on. Now, homeboy here is going to talk to us about the dragon type Pokemon and what they're weak against. But... We actually have to go through these, um, I don't know what to call them, bridges or something? Step on the panels, move them around, step on the middle, just turn them around. That kind of rhymed. That was kind of a lyric right there. And uh, to get to the next area right here, but of course, your badass host Draven can actually walk through lava, so it wouldn't be a problem, but for the game's sake, let's go right ahead and just kick some ass, take some names, and take on Ice Trainer Polo from Italy. And, uh, well... Here he comes out with his Rotini, and Nessie is ready to use his Ice Beam right here. Look at that. Ice Beam for the win. Yeah, buddy. Look at that. Dratini didn't survive. Now, let's see. Already done Pokemon episode... Well, we, we've already done episode 33 and 34. This was uh, the, this is the, the, the voice recordings that I did last week. As I'm recording this right now, it is the 22nd of March, and I'm here to just tell you guys that, yes, I am very, very sorry for not uh, coming out with the usual amount of walkthroughs. I've already explained it a few uh, few videos back that, yeah, my schedule has finally picked up because apparently we are kind of opened or something like that. It has been literally a full year since this pandemic started, and, well, it's kind of, a, it's kind of weird to go back uh, to busy mode right here, but... Like I said, guys, I'm doing my best to come out with everything I have. I remember, I do have episodes of Pokemon Heart Gold saved up, ready to be narrated and all that stuff. And, well, we're going to be having a, a small marathon this week for this. So, I uh, hope you guys are enjoying it. Or will be enjoying it. I don't even know. I don't know how to word it or anything like that. It has been a long two weeks, guys. Trust me. Now, we defeated this guy. Nice hairdo. And, well, we got to go into the next battle right here. There is a teleportation uh, panel right there next to us. So if you guys didn't bring any full heals, healing items, or anything like that, go right there. So, let's see. We are taking on Dragon-type Pokemon and Dragon-looking Pokemon. This is exactly what this whole place is all about. Now, the Dragon-type Pokemon right here, you can actually defeat them with Ice-types or Dragon-type moves. And uh, a Pokemon that actually does come to mind when it comes to coming here before or, you know, preparing is Piloswine. You can actually evolve Piloswine right here at this town. All you need is a heart scale and then teach it a ancient power or it learns it by itself or something like that. But yes, once you actually teach it ancient power and level it, level it up, it will actually evolve into Mamoswine. And well, as you can see, Dragonair is kicking our butts. Not yet. Here we go. Ice Beam for the win. Suck it, Dragonair. Oh, yes. But yeah, like I said, guys, Mamoswine can evolve through that move. And uh, it could be a useful Pokemon right here in uh, in this gym. Now, there is a bit of a downside. And that is that, you know, Dragon-type Pokemon are very versatile of Pokemon. They like to use elemental moves. They, they learn everything, guys. They are strong Pokemon. And they like to learn everything from Fire Blast, Flamethrower, Thunder. You know, everything. Every elemental move. You name it, or, well, whatever elemental it is, you they can learn it and all that stuff. Uh, surf, waterfall, you know, everything. I'm just babbling on right here, guys. So make sure to have a Pokemon leveled up, ready to go, because uh, it doesn't really matter if you have the type advantage. They will always come out of left field with some kind of Pokemon. Like, let's just say... You're going up against a Dratini and you, and you have yourself a Mamoswine. That Dratini might have itself a Surf Attack, Waterfall, Hydro Pump. Might have one of those moves or Bubble Beam or something. Now, I know I'm talking out of my ass, 
there's probably no TMs for Bubble Beam and all that stuff, but still they can they can learn those kinds of moves and all that stuff. So be prepared. Now the Pokemon such as Horsey and Seedra, these Pokemon are actual water type Pokemon. So yeah, go right ahead. Use electric type Pokemon with everything you got. Destroy them. And well, here we go, taking uh, taking on the Seedra. So what we're gonna do is going back to Sl to Fluff Bolt, and we're gonna be uh, dominating some more right here. Look at that. Miss you, Fluff Bolt. It has been a friggin' while, and Seedra looking all mean and everything. Of course, it's faster than us, so it's gonna give us a little bit of a bubble beam. And, well, look at that. Discharge for the win. Yeah, buddy. No more Seedra, hopefully. And yes, it was a critical hit. Yes, I'm very, very happy about that one right there. Look at that. Look at that. And Fluff Bolt grows to level 39. I am happy. Pokemon are. Pokemon are getting up there, which is good. Very, 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 very good. Okay, so let's go ahead and move on right here. Now, um, let's see, let's see. What else do I have to talk about? Now, if you guys are playing Pokemon Gold, Silver, or Crystal, the puzzle would be different. Yeah, you'd actually have to use uh, strength inside the gym. First time for everything. But right here, look at that. We're taking on Pokemon as quickly as possible. It's just you got you got to got to figure out the whole puzzle to that whole thing right there. So. Of course, Seedra does have, or actually Nessie does have water absorbed, so Seedra can't use any water type attacks right here. So its next resort is Twister, and look at that. Not effective, but it makes us flinch, which is kind of annoying. Oh, crud, here comes a spam. Uh-oh. And yes, again, we're flinching. Oh my god, if we flinch again, I swear to god I'm going to throw something at this screen. I really am. Okay, so it didn't... It didn't flinch, but why in the heck would I be using Confuse Ray? Again, I'm just like trigger happy and all that stuff. I could have beaten it right here and there, but never mind. We're just trying to confuse this Pokemon and look at this Twister again, and we're going to flinch. Ten bucks says we're going to flinch. And no, we didn't flinch. Okay, so I owe some of you guys ten bucks. So there we go, Body Slam. And well, let's go right ahead and just try and beat this guy. Level 38 Pokemon. We, we, we need to use an electric type Pokemon. We really, really, really do. Oh, God. The hell was I thinking? So, let's go right ahead and use another Body Slam. But, of course, no more confusing for Caesar. And, well, there's a Twister. And we flinch again. Good gravy. Yeah, why didn't I switch out? <laughs> I don't know, guys. I really don't know. Um, for most of you guys who are new to this channel or new to this walker right here, uh, the first 20 episodes, I actually did a uh, live comp with this walkthrough, and then I realized that, you know, the footage was getting a little, uh, it wasn't getting a little choppy, it was more, like, it, the background sound, the, the gameplay, it was just, uh, it was just slowing down, and it bothered me, so I went to post comp because you can get everything at its, at its appropriate frame rates and all that stuff, so, yeah, that's pretty much the reason. Look at that, Nessie. Fought a hard battle. We defeated Fran Frazier and all that stuff. Yes. Okay. Alrighty. Let's move on. Wow. What is it with the trainers right here? How many goddamn trainers do you have? I don't even know. Alright, so let's go right ahead and use a super potion and uh, let's give it to Nessie. Okay, so we probably should have bought... We probably uh, should have uh, used a hyper potion. I'm just saying. Probably. I don't even know. So, let's see. Given another super potion right here. Nessie, thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. And, well, let us, uh, you know what? Give it to Fluff Bolt right here. We can never stay too prepared. And, well, I think that's pretty much it right there for the items. Nah. Okay, yeah. Alright, so let's go right ahead and take on this guy right here. Another Ace Trainer. They have to be, or they... They are the creme de la creme uh, when it comes to the Pokemon uh, battling and all that stuff. Of course, here we go with Mike, and he's coming out with a level 38 Dragon there. So, the best advice for you guys is to have a level 40 Pokemon, or at least two or three of them, because uh, some of these Dragon-type Pokemon are very, very fast. You will not like it. You'll end up like Nessie, battling it out, using every single one of its PP just to beat it. All of its PP. Like... The whole amount of it's PP. All 15 points of it. And look at that. Dragoner has fainted. And Nessie. He only used one PP just to beat this guy. So, let's go right ahead and move on right here. This is usually the confusing one. Now, if you guys take a look at the... Take a look at the, the lava. 
you can actually see that there's a big old drawing right there. It's probably a dragon, right? It is a dragon. And why in the heck did I do that? I do not know. Okay, so we have to move. Okay, not like that. And there we go. Oh, wow. Again, it's getting so confused. So it looks like to me I'm going to have to turn this and move this way. There we go. Again, there's the dragon head. So now we're going to have to turn around. Turn it again. Okay, so that didn't work. Okay, so let's go right here. Turn it this way. God dang it. Okay, so let's see. Let's see. How in the heck? Right here? There we go. Look at that. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Look at that. Okay, so Claire's there waiting for us. And, well, let's see. Let's go ahead and switch out our Pokemon. We're going to go with Fluffvolt. And let's go right ahead. And she is the world's best dragon trainer. Not really. And, well, she is... Yeah, I, this is the thing I love about her. She is ready to just go. Let's get it. So here it is, guys. The eighth and final gym battle in Johto. And we are taking on the gym leader, Claire. She's looking fun in her suit. And yeah, she's coming out with her Gyarados right here. Again, this gym is a dragon type and dragon looking gym. Do you not know why Gyarados is not a dragon type Pokemon? I, I've always asked this question right here. Drag or Gyarados is or Gyarados does look like a dragon type and it should be a dragon type I don't even know and look at that we just defeated it easy okay well it is a dragon or it looks like a dragon type why couldn't they make it a dragon type that is the question we could have had more than three dragon types in generation one I'm just saying uh, let's see see a uh, horsey and, and Cedra. they look like dragon type Pokemon as well why couldn't they be Dragon-type Pokemon? I'm just saying. I think the, the people at Nintendo were smoking weed. Who knows, but look at this. Dragonair uses, uh, using Thunder Wave to paralyze us. So now we are at a little bit of a, a disadvantage right here because Dragonairs, or you know, Claire's Dragonairs like to use this kind of move. And of course we use our good old Ice Beam just to get this guy, uh, get to, or get Dragonair to, to fame. But, yeah, that doesn't work. So here we go with a body slam, and it doesn't paralyze it. So let's go right ahead and use Ice Beam while we get hit with this Dragon Pulse. And, well, this Dragon Pulse takes a nice amount, and we are paralyzed. So now we can't even do anything. So let's go ahead and take another Dragon Pulse. No thanks. Mm -mm. Wondering, why did this episode last so long? And I'm trying to, I'm actually starting to figure out that it's one Pokemon. So here we go. Ice Beam. Finish him. Yes. Say goodbye to Dragonair. Alrighty. Okay, Nessie kicking butt, taking names. Claire coming out with another Dragonair. Like I said before, guys, these Pokemon do like to use elemental moves. And one of their favorite moves is Thunder Wave, just to slow you down and everything. So let's go right ahead and use uh, well, one of these healing items. Let's go ahead and use a Max Potion to Nessie. Now, I could have used a Hyper Potion. I do not know why I used a ma Max Potion. You know what? Maybe I was smoking the dank. I don't know. Okay, so here comes a Dragon Pulse, and well, Dragon Pulse doesn't really do much to Nessie. So here we go again, taking another Dragon Pulse. You know, I could have just healed him. Could have just healed this Pokemon and everything, but I kind of want to chance it all with an Ice Beam right here. So here it is, Ice Beam. Say goodbye to Dragonair, and good God. But it is frozen. We are in luck, guys. We are about to destroy this Pokemon right here. You are frozen. You can't do anything, so take this Body Slam. Gattaca. Alrighty. So look at that. Another another victory. Another victory for us. And Nessie grows to level 37. And it wants to learn Brine. Not necessarily a, a move that I'd like to use. And, well, I'm not... Yeah, I'm not going to teach it Brine. Mainly because it already has a very powerful move or water type moves. So, we're going to be switching out our Pokemon right here. We're going to be going up against Kingdra now. Kingdra was a very good addition to to Claire's uh, team in the in the previous generations right here. Nobody knew how to beat it. Even I didn't know how to beat it until we realized that, well, Dragon type moves can actually work. Ice type moves doesn't really work on this Pokemon because it is half water type Pokemon. And look at this. Hydro Pump really kills us. It just like murdered relic so yeah we're gonna have to yeah we're gonna we're gonna throw like we're gonna have to throw everything in the kitchen sink this is starting to remind me of the Sutopolis City gym battle 
you know, because they have a they have a Kingdra, a, Mil a Milotic, and those two kinds of Pokemon like to screw with you. Of course, Kingdra likes to use, uh, what was it, Smokescreen. So here we go, close combat, finish it, come on. It's supposed to be powerful, and we take, we give it half, or we take half of its HP right there. And of course, since Kingdra lost a lot of HP, it will be healing itself up with a Citrus Berry. So let's go right ahead and use Aerial Ace, and well, we kind of had this coming right here because we used close combat. We took a shot, we did it, and well, we're paying for it right here. Say goodbye to Hercules, oh my god. Okay, so I'm starting to re uh, I'm starting to remember why why this uh this this move or this video took a little longer than expected. Okay, so here we go. Let's get Nessie out here. I get it, my Pokemon is paralyzed, but there probably was a reason for me to actually put him out here. So let's go with another max uh potion. Alrighty. I'm not giving up right here. Nessie, you have been the MVP in this gym. Let's go right ahead and just Ah, crap. Again, taking another smoke screen. Taking another smoke screen because Kingdra is a dick. So, let's see. Uh, did I get any? Oh, crud. Okay, so we do have full heals. The only problem is, I didn't, I, well, I didn't get enough. So, chances are we're going to get paralyzed again. Or, I don't even know. But Kingdra right here is having its way with me. And right now, this Dragon Pulse really did, did the, uh, the the trick right here. So we're gonna try and paralyze this Pokemon. And of course, since it knows we can attack now, it's gonna try and lower our accuracy every single time, and it works. So again, another Dragon Pulse. It's really, really gambling right now. And wow, we take a huge hit right there. So let's go right ahead and not paralyze this. He's like, you're kidding? I'm supposed to win. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I don't, I don't know about that. So let's go right ahead and give a hyper potion to Nessie. Come on, let's get it, let's get it. Come on, heal him up. There we go. Nessie's ready to go, and here comes a Dragon Pulse. You know, the easy, the easy thing for me to do is probably switch out my Pokemon. Yeah, but I'm too stubborn to do that. So here we are taking Dragon Pulses up the you-know-who and well we're taking a lot of them so here we go Body Slam misses this is really frustrating me right now it really is yeah I'm gonna destroy you Kingdra you looking at me all smugly and everything why couldn't you like why couldn't your pre-evolved force be uh be what you would call a dragon type Pokemon I don't know Nintendo what the heck so there comes a Dragon Pulse yet again. Let's go with the Body Slam. And God, this Dragon Pulse is really pissing me off right now. It really is. I'm really starting to get sick and tired of looking at that move. So here we go, Body Slam. And it's finally paralyzed. Eat shit, Kingdra. Okay, so let's go right ahead and heal up our Nessie yet again. There is a good chance now that we can't get defeated by this guy. So here we go, Nessie getting healed up. Taking the majority of our uh, healing potions and all that crud. And here comes another expected Dragon Pulse. I hate you. And well, look at that. Wow! What the hell? Oh my god. Yeah, so... Oh yeah, I'm gonna kill you now. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Oh my god, I hate you, Kingdra. Okay, so let's go right ahead and go for a critical hit ourselves. Let's go, Air Cutters. Come on, finish him. Come on, finish it. Oh yeah, and it didn't... What the hell? <laughs> oh my god, Kingdra will not die. Oh crap, come on, stay. There we go. Damn you, freaking Claire. Oh my god. Okay, so Claire... Claire Claire's being smart with me. Okay, I see what the, where this is all going. Come on, Air Cutter. Use a fly attack. Oh, crud. I hate you, Kingdra. I hate you with a thousand passions. Eat shit right here. Fly attack. Let's go. Come on, Toxic Batman. Don't die on me now. And uh, here comes a Dragon Pulse. Good gravy. Uh, I hate you, Kingdra. I freaking hate you. You know what? I'm going to bring out the list. You guys don't remember? I had a list of all Pokemon or trainers Pokemon that I hated with a god dang passion. So let's go right ahead and use a Cotton Spore. Oh jeez, here we go with a Hydro Pump. And this one right here nearly makes me faint. Good gravy. Okay, 
Come on. There we go. Cut and Spore lowers its speed harshly, so now we can actually heal up our Pokemon. Come on, Fluff Bolt. Do not die. If you die, you're off the team. You know what? These empty guys don't, don't work with these Pokemon. It really doesn't. I mean, I'm still going to have them at the end of the day, and I hate you, Dragon Pulse. How many Dragon Pulses does this Pokemon actually have? It's like they have unlimited PP. Good God. I want unlimited PP. And here we go. Finally, something going our way. Discharge. Time to zap this Pokemon right here. And of course, since it is a Dragon type Pokemon, it's not as super effective, but guess what? It gets paralyzed. Time to get it at the juggler right here. Let's go. And. Ah, oh, crud. Okay. Come on. Hit him. There we go. Thunder Punch. Come on. And that's how you do it. Good gravy. I hate you. I hate you, freaking Kingdra. So, there it is. She lost. She doesn't believe it. She must think it's, she thinks it's a mistake. Seriously. We've already gone through this, and she's like, I won't concede this. And she says, oh, I'm not ready for the Pokemon League. And, of course, she's inviting us to go into the Dragon's Den to go in there and take the, uh, the test because she thinks we have lazy ideals. Well, if anything was said, uh, you know, after this battle is that I probably do have some lazy ideals. Probably not that ready to go to the Pokemon League, but guess what? I do what I want, and of course we're getting a call by Baoba. And, well, we have the next test ready to go. I am not going to the test right now. I really am not. I have no time for your games. So, what's going to happen first is I gotta heal my Pokemon. Yeah, they got... They got wrecked. They got wrecked with a T in that, in that bitch right there. Jesus. Okay, so let's go ahead and heal up our Pokemon. Look at this. Oh, yes. Healing up my Pokemon. There we go. Oh, God. I freaking hate you, Kingdra. I really do. I really freaking hate you. Okay, so let's see. The next thing that I probably have to do right here is I actually probably have to... Uh, well, I didn't even do, use the transition right here, but... Uh, off screen, I did switch out Pokemon. I can't remember which Pokemon it was. I just know that, well, I switched out a Pokemon because we need the HM, uh, the, uh, or a Pokemon that knows, uh, what was it, Whirlpool right here. And, well, let's go ahead and use Nessie, our MVP of the day right here. And, well, let's go ahead and use a, uh, rep a Repel or two because, uh, yeah, there's going to be some Pokemon in there that you don't want to battle. Well, it's mostly, dry it's mostly uh, Magikarps, and I do not know why I didn't use a Repel. Look at that, Magikarp, waiting for you right there. Okay, so, do not want to mess with you. Let's get the heck out of here. Let's run. Okay, alrighty, so let's see. Alright, of course, I still haven't listened. What the hell was I smoking that day? I really wasn't smoking, guys. I was just trying to get this whole thing done. Good gravy! Oh, man, I hate you, Magikarp, with a passion. But I still hate Kingdra more. I really do. Okay, so we're just moving on. We really are. Okay, so let's see. There we go. And voila, we're in the Dragon's Den. And, well, this place, it's, it's short, it's sweet, but there are Pokemon trainers here. And we will have to battle them. So what we're going to do right now is we're going to actually switch it up. And, yes, I do have Poliswag right there and an empty slot. Everything will be explained after, you know, this whole thing is done right here. So, anywho, before we finish off anything and everything, and look at it! Ace Trainer Kobe! That's right, he's got Mamba mentality. May that man rest in peace, god dang it. Anywho, um, before we finish off everything, I just want to talk to you about a few things, guys. Like I always like to do. Yeah, it's been a little slow with the whole walkthroughs and stuff. We haven't had a lot of, well, you know, the usual walkthroughs, you know, the five episodes per day and all that stuff, but, it, you know, like, I, I've already explained it to you guys, and I am actually happy for you guys that, you know, you you are very, very understanding. Trust me, guys, I have been uh, working at it. I have been working at my schedule, and I think I've already found a way, or I think I've already found a, a way in my schedule to actually, you know, at least get a few videos out per week, you know, that kind of stuff. Uh, let's see, what was I trying to say here? Well, I am going to, I am going to uh, be, I'm still going to be making walkthroughs. It's just, you know, if you guys can't tell, I'm a little exhausted. I really am, guys. 
these last few days, these last few weeks, holy crud, and I know, I know this is something I wanted. I mean, I, I, I was kind of bored for a while during this pandemic, but then it makes you appreciate how much time you actually had when this whole pandemic started, which was, damn, a year ago. And, you know, a year ago, today, I only had what? I probably only had like five walkthroughs. Yeah. Five walkthroughs and then this pandemic happens and the next thing you know, I'm exploding with a whole bunch of walkthroughs. And now that we're here with, you know, the kind of schedule that I have, I think it's safe to say that, you know, I, I actually appreciated having that time off with the, with the whole pandemic. I did, but the other part too is I wish I still had more time to come out with more videos because, you know, at the end of the day, I do enjoy making these walkthrough videos for you guys. I really do. I really, 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 really do. So, again, I'm going to try my best to come out with as many walkthrough videos as I can throughout the week. One being Pokemon Heart Gold, and yes, guys, I'm getting around with the Pokemon uh, Sword and Shield. Trust me, it's it's been kind of hard to find a time to actually you know complete that whole thing. But Pokemon Sword and Shield will be coming out, or will be coming back. Uh, next week. I know I said that the week of the 15th I would be back with Pokemon uh, Sword and Shield. Not gonna happen. Not didn't happen. And I just need a little bit of time. Trust me, guys. A little bit of time and you will be getting a buttload of walkthrough of videos right there. So look at that. We defeated Piper. She does not give us a Piper or anything. She just, her name is Piper. Who names her kid Piper? Really? Like, for me, Piper is like a bully name. I kind of feel like that. I don't even know. It's just me. And, well, we got two more people to battle. So let's go ahead and switch out our Pokemon right here. And uh, give uh, Fluffolt a little bit of a chance. Because chances are this this crew right here probably has Water-type Pokemon. Anywho, guys. Uh, yeah. So, yeah, I'm going to be finding a lot of time and everything. Um, the weekend is usually the time where I have at times in between to do everything that I want to do. And... Then I, I did say Monday. I do have Mondays off, so yes, Mondays are usually my walkthrough days or walkthrough record, recording days. So yeah, we're getting stuff done. It's just good God, mentally exhausted. There are times where you get you get mentally exhausted, guys. So yeah, and uh, with me right here, you know, I, I've been feeling it. But guess what? It feels good to actually narrate and all that stuff for you guys. So yeah. Expect me to cuss out uh, every Pokemon in here, including Kingdra, cursing its name because, yeah, pissed me the hell off and all that stuff. Anywho, going back to this whole thing right here, we're going to destroy this Pokemon with a Thunder Punch. And look at that, Dratini has been defeated. I really do want a Dratini. I really do. I want a Dratini, but I don't know where to get it. I wonder where we can get a Dratini. Now, let's go right ahead and grab that item right there. There's a... Uh, we kind of do need it for something else like that. And uh, hold on just a sec, guys. Right here. Okay, sorry about that, guys. I've been getting calls all friggin' day. I know, I'm very, very important. But anywho, as you can see, there is a Whirlpool right there. Bam. We are going to be crossing it because thanks to Polyswag's uh, Whirlpool attack, we can actually do that now. And, well... Yeah, it's not really controlled by anything. But here is the entrance. Now, before we go before we go there, we're going to be actually going right here because there is an item of uh, interest right here to actually get, and that is the Dragon Fang. Now, for many of you guys who don't know, Dragon Fang, yes. It is a uh, it is a, a, a move or an item that you can actually use to actually, what was it again? To actually power up any dragon type moves. Unfortunately, we don't really have a dragon type with us, so whatever. So let's go right ahead and save this game right here because uh, I kind of feel like something big is going to go on. Something pretty very big. Something. I don't even know. Something big. Alright, let's see. Come on. There we go. Okay, so let's go right ahead and go in through the entrance. Come on. Let me go through. And, well, there's a few people waiting for us. And he's right here. He's going to be asking us, why are we here? Of course, Claire has put us in this position because she is very stubborn. So he's going to be asking us a few questions. What are Pokemon to you? And, of course, they are a friend to me because they're a friend to everybody. And what helps me win in battles, obviously, through training. And, well, what kind of a trainer am I? Or what kind of trainer do I want to battle? And I'm just everybody. Now, what's the most important part of training a Pokemon? Love. And yes, strong and weak Pokemon are both 
the best Pokemon because you can find strong Pokemon from weak Pokemon and weaknesses from strong Pokemon. Vice versa, that kind of stuff. So after you answer the questions correctly, yes, yeah, she thinks we failed and <laughs> she's like, what? No, this can't be. That's right, baby. Now give me my badge before I uh, call Lance. You know, I know Lance. I'm really tight with that guy. Watch. And she's like, or oh, must I inform Lance of this? I understand this. Here, this is the rising badge. And of course, she will give you the rising badge, meaning you aren't able to use any kind of HMs, including climbing waterfalls and all that stuff. And well, there it is, Claire. Reflect upon what you did and lack of this child and all that stuff. And yeah, she's going to run away and all that stuff. So we are happy. And this guy is actually talking to us about Lugia, who lives in the rural islands. We won't be getting to Lugia until I don't know when. So now before we leave, I'm going to go back inside right here and talk to this individual and well, actually he's not going to do it right now. We probably have to get the, uh, the, what would you call it, the Dragon Breath move from, what you call it, from, uh, from, uh, Claire. So let's go right ahead and start surfing. Of course, we are lacking in the repels and all that stuff. So let's go right ahead and use Max Repel right now and, uh, find, uh, Let's go ahead and find, uh, what you call it, uh, Let's go ahead and find Claire. Where the heck is that woman? I don't know. Alright, here we go. Crossing this river, or no, not this river, but this whirlpool. And, well, we're doing our thing. We're being our thing, and there she is, and, well, wait. I'm sorry about this. Take this as an apology, and yes, we get ourselves the TM-59. That is Dragon Pulse, and, well... She doesn't want... <laughs> yeah, we're going to the Pokemon League. She's like, surf across Route one, uh, route 27. And, of course, she says, if if I lose in the Pokemon League, she's going to be feeling even worse losing to us. Now, I got to step out just a little bit, and I got to come back in because there is a special item for us waiting for us right here, I think. I don't even know. Let's go back outside. Like, completely outside, just to make sure. Right here. Okay, so we're outside. Professor Elm is calling us, and he's like, well, hello, Draven. How's it going? Of course, I got something at my lab. Swing by. Get it, you know? It really doesn't matter. Okay, so let's go back inside and finish this whole thing off by going into the Dragon's Den. Now, after you get the Rising Badge and after you get the TM-59 uh, Dragon Pulse from, uh, from Claire, you aren't able to go back into the uh, the Dragon's Den and grab a special Pokemon. And, well, it was that question that I was asking before. How do you get, like, how do you get a, uh, whatchamacallit? How do you get a, uh, a Dratini? Now, you can catch a Dratini right here, even a Dragonair. But I think the one that you're going to be getting right here is a little bit better than uh, the wild one. So, going back into the Dragon's Den, you talk to this guy. He's like, good to see you here. It's most fortunate. And yes, take this Dratini as a mastery of your worth and all that stuff. Dratini is finally ours. And, well, I really want to nickname it, but I kind of don't. Now, this Dratini right here is a special one because it actually has the move Extreme Speed. It doesn't really learn that. You actually have to get, uh, what was it, the hard skills to actually make it learn it. Or Dragon Rage, and yeah, Extreme Speed. So, there it is, guys. We got ourselves a, dr a Dratini. Everything's good. Stay tuned. In the next episode, we're going to be having a little bit more fun. See you guys.